Hey there, do you find yourself dying a lot? Do you wish you had an easier time fending off people during sudden death? Or maybe you're just tired of the default sword but don't want something too different. If you said yes to any of these questions, then a dark heart might just be for you. A dark heart is an awesome rarity sword that costs 7,000 coins. True to its name, the dark heart's attacks can restore health when hitting opponents. Ground and meter swings give you 5 health, lunges 11, and strike attacks 14 health. If you get a kill, you will get 25% of the opponent's health in addition to the health restored from your attack. This is usually 25 health, but the infected will give you less health. However, the dark heart has a 10% slower swing speed and a 4 second cooldown instead of 3 seconds, or a 33% longer cooldown. Besides being able to regenerate health, the Dark Heart is very similar to the Default Sword, so many of the same strategies from the Default Sword can also be applied with the Dark Heart. You could still rush down your opponents, outrun them, or do anything in between. But the Dark Heart is fun because of how it rewards you for playing aggressively. It feels great to punish an overconfident opponent that assumes you're an easy kill because you're at low health. Like here. Or here. Or even this. If you can consistently get kills and manage your health wisely, you can become practically unkillable. Even without kill streaks, one kill or even one hit can be enough to survive an otherwise fatal blow. So take advantage of any health you can get and don't hesitate to kill AFK players. They're basically free health packs. The Dark Heart is generally good against groups of people or doing sudden death, and it works well against high damage weapons like the Great Sword, Fire Sword, Shadow Dragon, Lava Ball, and Shadow Shuriken. This doesn't mean that you're invincible though. You can still easily die to a ragdoll weapon or rocket or get overwhelmed by a group of people, so don't get reckless when you don't need to. As you play with the Dark Heart, you may start to notice that it feels slower compared to the default sword. The Dark Heart's longer cooldown and slower swings don't tend to matter much when you're on the ground, but they make it feel awkward and laggy in the air. This is the main reason I've heard people say they don't like the Dark Heart, and I can tell you from experience that I have indeed failed to recover many times because of this weapon's laggy air swings. To make up for this, I like to use weapons like the Hoss Hawk for its improved rocket jump and cooldown, the Fall Rocket for its good balance of mobility and power, and the Remote Detonator because it allows you to stack multiple bombs. I also recommend trying out the Laser Cannon, Crystal Blaster, Bombardier, Rock Star, Sticky Bomb, the Fault Ball, Snowball, Bow, the Fault Trowel, Cage Trowel, and Shadow Clone. Again, don't get reckless when you don't need to, and keep in mind that you won't recover any health if someone else gets a kill and you get an assist, or if you don't deal the last hit with a dark card. But knocking people into the void with a dark card does count. If used properly, the dark card makes surviving in classic and two teams much easier, even when dealing with groups of people or during sudden death. Same thing with deathmatch, but I tend to switch to the default sword if the server votes for relativity or yellow sanctum, or if I'm struggling to get kills. But if you're a survivor in infection, the dark heart basically becomes your best friend. Even if you don't get as much health from the infected, you can still survive until the round ends pretty easily, especially if you use ball turrets to wear down the infected with more health. The infected don't benefit as much though. You do get 25 health of every kill because the survivors have 100 health, but you aren't going to be getting many kills to the Dark Heart itself, and you're probably going to die anyway because of your low health and weak attacks. I would recommend switching to something like a Great Sword, Fire Sword, Bamboo Buster, or even another Lunch Sword. Then there's Round Cat Rally, where the Dark Heart is a clear downgrade. Since all of your kills in this game mode come from rockets, and the Dark Heart doesn't have any reflect buffs, you're better off just using something else entirely. Like the default sword, the general idea of keeping your distance and avoiding lunges still applies, but dealing with a dark heart user can sometimes evolve into a war of attrition, especially if you also use a dark heart or the opponent is playing defensively. Ideally, you want to throw them into the void ASAP using a frying pan, home runner, super ball, or coconut, but if that is impossible, try to minimize the health they regenerate by using weapons like the great sword, fire sword, lava ball, shadow shuriken, bow, ball turret, spike trowel, or basically any rocket. These weapons can force the opponent to keep their distance, or in the best case scenario, force mistakes that you can take advantage of. But if none of this works and you're still struggling, teaming up with other players is a completely valid strategy. The Dark Heart is overall very well suited for general use thanks to it basically being the default sword plus the ability to restore health. 
It may not be the fastest or the strongest, but it rewards you for playing aggressively by allowing you to survive longer and get those satisfying clutches. I personally think it could even be the best sword in the game, but I will rank the Dark Heart in the A- tier, because of its worst mobility and the fact that a lot of kills would come from projectiles. It's definitely reliable, but probably not enough to be considered better than the default sword. Either way, the Dark Heart is my favorite sword, and I think it's actually underrated. That just about covers it, so here are my main takeaways if you want to try the Dark Heart. 1. Remember that ground and mid-air swings heal 5 health, lunges 11 health, and strike attacks 14 health. Kills will usually give you 25 extra health, but you'll get less health if you kill an infected. The Dark Heart's ability to restore health is extremely useful, so don't be afraid to go on the offensive. 2. Even if you can regenerate health quickly, you are not invincible. Watch out for ragdoll weapons, use your lunges wisely, take advantage of AFK players, and take cover or retreat if you're struggling. 3. The Dark Heart is compatible with many of the same weapons as the default sword, so try different loadouts to see what works best for you. But since the Dark Heart has worse mobility, consider using weapons like the Hoss Hawk, Rockstar, Laser Cannon, Crystal Blaster, Remote Detonator, Shaw's Trowel, or Shadow Clone. 4. Keep in mind that you need to get kills with the Dark Heart itself to regenerate health. Although assists and kills with anything other than the Dark Heart won't count, knocking people into the void with the Dark Heart does count. So what are you waiting for? Go try out this underrated gem today. I'm sure it will appreciate seeing some use. Either way, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something, and I'll see you around. Bye!